for a long time, I've been thinking about making uh, a NAS drive, network attached storage, yeah? But for now, I do have a Cat 6A cable, which I want to run from my router, which is in my living room, through the hallway, and then to my um, Mac Studio, which is in my office. So I'm not running it through the walls or anything like that. I live in an apartment in New York, so I don't really want to bore holes that like actually trail through any cable. So I got a 50 foot flat Cat 6A cable for this purpose, okay? So what I'm going to do is just literally like run it along the wall. I'm going to use small cable clips uh, that have adhesive on the back instead of using nails, right? So non-destructive, but for now, Let's run some Cat 6A cable, yeah? Cool. So I have a 50 foot Cat 6A cable. And I think that's long enough to get the job done, if I measured correctly. I think I added some extra, some leeway in there, so that should be it. Uh, considerations, I also have a standing desk, right? So definitely have to do it in a way where um, when I put my table to stand up, then the Cat6 cable doesn't get like dragged. So it can't be too tight for those reasons. That is the project. So this is how we're running the cable using these clips. So essentially your cord just goes right inside of them right here. Then just run this up. You just slide this in it holds it into place. And you can see this running on the rest of the wall. Then I'm going to put more clips in to kind of hold it together. We're in the home stretch I'm under my desk. Uh, this one goes directly up to the Mac Studio. So there's a couple more and then some tightening up and then we'll be all good. But I have to say these things came out in handy. So far, like these are the best ones I've used of these, the cable clips. Because they are tiny, there's not a lot of wiggle room for the cable to have the previous ones I was using, which I just used like just essentially to lay down how it would run. Those have way too much give. I should not have done that. That was a dumb thing to do. Uh, so I'm just pretty much going to stick with these for the rest of them. There are some pieces of the line that are not flush against the wall, right? So it's not like butted up completely perfectly. And that's because the cable clips aren't really holding them super tightly, right? So in those spots, I'm going to use a bit of like double sided tape, sticky tape, and just actually like paste those sections to the wall um, just so things aren't like dangling you know what I mean it's not bad but you know I would feel better about it so yes that is something you might have to do do you have to do it not really it just uh it's just like a nice to have I think so if you want to close that gap don't know double stick tape <laughs>